Hey guys, welcome back to Knowledge Highway's HTML tutorials. Today we're on episode 10 and we're gonna be learning about a good few things, uh, just extra things I forgot, such as a little bit more for links and just general head tag stuff, head element stuff. So let's get the ball rolling and type out our standard kind of uh, thing that we have been typing out so far. The reason why I'm doing this every time, I don't know if I've already stated this, but it's just so that you guys remember. It's all about repetition till you remember something. Uh, at least that's the way I find it. Uh, just the more I type something out, the more I get it. So don't be just copying and pasting if you want to actually learn this stuff. So, there we go. That's the template. Hopefully you've typed that out now. If you're finding it hard to keep up, feel free to pause the video. I'm not really going at any great pace right now though. So, let's let's go add, add a link because I want to demonstrate something, yo. So this is a link to Google. We're doing that again. We're doing this one again. So, add our A tags. Close. Oh, that's not how you close and a link tag or element or whatever. So let's add an attribute which would be href equals http colon forward slash forward slash www.google.com. Uh, let's quickly go over this. This is a refresher. The a tag or element is a link tag. It uh, basically works as a link for all this text which is inside it. And the attribute here that we're using is the href one which tells the link where to go to. So let's save that and let's try this. So go. This is a link to Google, is it? It is indeed, and it works. But hey, what if you want to click this and have it open in another tab? Is there such a way to do that in HTML? Well, you're about to find out, fail sir or madam. So, let's go ahead and add another attribute. This time we're going to call it target. And we're going to set it equal to um, underscore blank. Now, when we try this, refresh the page and... Boom! It opens up in another tab now. So we have our two tabs. So that's really the only thing I wanted to add to that. There are other things you can do with this. You can do stuff like uh, parent. You could type underscore parent. And I think that opens up in the iframe that is at the top of the page. You won't see any difference here. So yeah, it just opens there. Um, but that's what parent does. The, that's kind of redundant though now because of the lack of the use of frames. I guess some people still use iframes, so there you go, something for you. But uh, the main other one that you'll I'll be teaching you is self, which is basically what is there by default, I believe. Boom, see, yeah, that's, that's how it goes. But you can change the default for your page. So this is useful if you want generally to have links open in other pages, but for this individual link, you want it to link, just navigate the, the same page. You want the page that is already open to change. So I guess I should teach you guys about that. So yeah, let's leave that there. And let's add another link just so we have it. Uh, a href equals, and we'll do YouTube this time, www.youtube.com. Now, if you're having any problems with links not going where they should or not working, then just check your code very carefully because uh, sometimes you can make a little typo and it's all over. So, uh, close that element. Now I have a link to YouTube as well, so this is good. Let's just test it just in case because, hey, we like to be certain that things work. Yes, it does indeed work. So let's go to our head tag, which we're going to be mainly working with today. So above the body element, let's add another element called head. You should have done this many times before by now, so this is not a really big deal, or you should have done it a few anyway, if you've been following my tutorials. And so, today we're gonna do the base tag, which is basically works like this. So, first the tag name is base, and let's, uh, 
let's start off with just target uh, as our attribute and set it equal to blank. Ha! Ah. And then close it. Save. Okay, so what has changed? Well, remember how before both the link to Google and the link to YouTube opened up in the same page? Well, the one to Google still opens up in the same page because we have the target equals self over there. But if you click on YouTube, ta-da! You're now on YouTube.com. Amazing. In a separate tab, rather. That's the more amazing part of this, I guess. So, um, I believe you can also do another tag, I mean attribute. We're getting to the limits of my knowledge of HTML because a lot of this stuff is fairly useless. Uh, but you can also add something like, oh, I should probably talk through this as I do it. So let's add another attribute to the base element or tag. Well, it's really just one tag here. Um, type href equals, and then in your quotation marks, let's type uh, w.youtube, oops, let's add the whole HTTP, uh, colon, forward slash, forward slash, www.youtube.com, and that's going to do it. So, that is basically going to change some stuff and make some stuff not work. But let's see what happens. So, refresh your page. What happens when we click on click on this link to google.com? Actually, this should still work. Yes, it does. And, okay, YouTube still works the same. But, if we were to take away the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash before the start of our link, remember how before, in fact, let me just show you what would have happened before. If you'd done this, um, before adding the base tag, it would look something like this. You would go and then you would go to click on the link to Google and it would just take you into a folder on your own computer that says slash google.com, like this. So instead of going to google.com, you'd be going to your C drive slash user slash your username slash desktop slash wherever you saved it uh, slash google.com. And that doesn't make any sense. But what if we add back in that base tag with the href, which um, resets the default location. So let's save that. Let's go. Now, when you click this, it's going to try and go to youtube.com slash google.com. You see what's happening here? <laughs> um, it's adding this onto any link that you put up without the whole HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. So, the, how is this useful? Well, I could get your, you to go to knowledge uh, highway, oh my goodness. And uh, all I would have to type in is knowledge highway. Lo knowledge, knowledge, yes. Oh, sorry, my spelling looks horrible today, but I think that's right, okay. And now, it will take you directly to me with just typing in my username. Let's try another one. I know this asshole called oop, Ginger iPods. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This guy's cool. You should also uh, go and subscribe to him if you're into your whole tech stuff. Well, let's click on the link to YouTube, which is actually a link to Ginger iPods. YouTube slash dot com slash Ginger iPods. Exciting! I know, I went over that fairly slowly. So, uh, how much more time do we have? Not too much. Uh, let's go over one other thing, which we're gonna go over when we do CSS again. But just so you have this for completion and sake, if you're just wanting to learn HTML and know all the tags, well, there's this other tag that you can put in the head, which is called the link tag. Now let's open tag, link, and then let's just close it for now. So what does the link tag do? Well, it allows you to link um, other, it, it allows you to link external resources into your web page. But nowadays, it's pretty much solely just used for CSS, linking CSS documents in or style sheets into your 
HTML. Now, if you don't understand what that is, it's okay because we're going to be going over this again. If you want to follow my CSS tutorial series, we will go over this in depth and talk about exactly what's going on. But for now, just if you already know about style sheets and you just want this, for some reason you learned this, I mean style sheets, but not this, then here you go. Um, so I'll just give you a pre brief idea of what a style sheet is. A style sheet just basically changes uh, formatting for tags that already exist in HTML and also you can add your own kind of uh, classes and uh, stuff. So it's it's very fancy. It just basically makes your web page look different. So let's go ahead and add something. I'm gonna make a quick little uh, CSS thing so that you know it's working. So Let's do header one. Uh, don't worry if you don't want to follow along with this. Uh, let's make the color is um, very light gray. Let's just go with that. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to save this as style.css in the same folder as my index. This works kind of like in images. Uh, and that is going to be the style sheet that I'm going to link. This is really just for future reference if you don't understand this again. So uh, so let's add an attribute to the link tag. Let's type rel equals style sheet. Sorry guys, I'm just adding this in in post because I realize I made a slight mistake in this little section. So sorry for the breakup, but uh, the rel attribute uh, stands for the relation between the link and the document so it is a required tag uh, for this the only real thing you're gonna put in here is style sheet as I say it's completely redundant at this point for just about anything else so next element uh, I mean attribute we're gonna add to the link tag is type sorry the type tag where you tell the browser what type of document you are linking. We are linking a CSS document, so it's text slash CSS in the attribute for type. Now, um, finally, let's tell the browser where that thing is that we're linking. So we're trying to link style.css, so type in href equals um, style.css. Now, Let's save that. So that's our full line here. Uh, this links the whole thing. I have a sneaking suspicion that the fact that we have set the href of base to youtube.com, it's going to try and search youtube.com for the style.css. Let's just confirm that by, I'm going to add a heading one tag uh, or element, and I'm going to type, this is is a gray, oh my goodness, heading uh, set via CSS. Let's go with that. Close that element, save it, and now we'll probably receive a black heading. Yes, we do. So, how do we make our CSS sheet work? Well, we're just going to remove this for now. So, remove the href from base and Boom, now it is gray, that is telling me that this style sheet is definitely linking in. I guess this is a good hands-on example of what style sheets do. You can also set things like uh, text size, I believe. Oh no, it's font size. Okay, let's set this to 128 pixels because we're feeling brave and I want to show off that you can indeed go bigger than size 9 in HTML. So there you go. Absolutely huge. Don't know why you'd want that, but there you go. You can have text as big as you want using CSS. So that's going to do it for this uh, tutorial. Uh, we covered some extra stuff on links and we've covered some more stuff on the heading tag. And next time, I guess we will uh, go over some scripts and the style tag and possibly metadata, maybe. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.